hello everyone hope you're all right in today's video i'm going to show you how my garden is doing in early july and what i have been harvesting from my garden so here is the first dahlia flower of the season i grew these dahlia plants from seeds and this is the first one to flower and it is looking really beautiful and you can see there are so many more birds going to open soon this is a single flowering dahlia and it is good for pollinators this year i have been harvesting loads and loads of strawberries every single day my strawberry plants are loaded with strawberries and this is a strawberry tower where i have got 15 strawberry plants and i started them from runners last year and you can see they have so many more strawberries and this is the time to plant runners as well so if you haven't done already you should start planting them now earlier you plant them uh, they will have greater chance to establish before the frost comes in and then you will have a good harvest next year i have got a detailed video on planting runners i will include a link in the description box in case you want to check it out these strawberry plants are in my wooden lattice raised bed they are in their second year of growth and they have got so many strawberries on them this is a june bearing variety i'm not really sure about the variety but they bear a good amount of strawberries in june and we have been picking them every day so they are loaded with strawberries and i also started these plants from runners and this is very economical way to multiply your strawberry plants using the runners some people will tell you that you need to prune runners so you can have a good strawberry harvest but in my june bearing plants i never prune my runners i let them go and basically i get a good harvest in june and then they start producing runners which i can use to multiply my strawberry plants This is the mother plant of all my strawberry plants which I start from runners. I grew this plant from the seeds of another strawberry plant which actually I bought from the store. And this plant is in its third year of growth and you can see it is loaded with strawberries. There are so many strawberries on this single strawberry plant. And look at the size of this one. This is huge. Really huge strawberries this year and they are so nice, sweet and juicy. We have been eating them every day and in fact i have been making smoothies ice cream and i have also got some in my freezer which i can use later on next i want to show you my sweet pea plants i grew these from seeds which i collected myself from last year and i direct sowed them in february in my wooden nest raised bed behind my strawberry plants you can see they are nice and tall loaded with flowers and I keep cutting them so they produce more and more and I like to make fresh flower arrangements with them they smell so nice and they look really amazing I really like growing sweet pea plants for cut flower arrangements and they are absolutely gorgeous Here I have got my squash zucchini plants inside my greenhouse in my fabric raised bed alongside uh, eggplants. Eggplants are looking nice and healthy but squash and zucchini are already starting to produce. 
I have harvested a couple of zucchinis already and they are really easy to grow I would say. You must grow them if you haven't tried already. And once they start producing you can never run out of zucchinis. So I also harvested a couple of spring onions which I sowed last year in fall and they are already bulking up and some garlic scapes from my harnai garlic plants they taste like uh, garlic but a bit peppery i like to use them in curries so i made a zucchini curry using the spring onions and garlic from my garden and it tasted absolutely delicious garlic itself will soon be ready to be picked and you can see when the bottom two or three leaves are dried up you can pick the garlic meanwhile i keep picking the garlic scapes two or three every day when i need to use them in my curries they taste awesome you can also make pesto with them and i think there are lots of other uses as well I also interplanted spring onions between my strawberry plants and sweet pea plants. That's a good way to deter so many bugs. And you can multiply your harvest by using all the garden space that's available. This is my mint planter. I started this mint from cuttings from store bought mint last year and we harvested this mint last year as well. I also froze a lot of it which I used over the winter and now it's starting to grow again. This is my second harvest of mint from this mint planter. I like to make chutneys, omelets, iced tea, drinks and to spice up my curries. I have got a video on how to grow mint from store-bought mint. So I will include the link in the description in case you want to check it out. More zucchini is ready to harvest. My pepper plants are looking good too. They are starting to produce flowers. These are my potato plants which I started from potato scrapes just as an experiment and you can see they are almost done now. So I'm going to harvest them. This is a small bucket so I don't expect big harvest and I'm also not sure about the bright tea but let's see what we can get. Not a huge harvest of potatoes but I'm really happy because I just planted a potato scrape and this is I think more than I can expect and they taste absolutely delicious. I use them to make a potato salad and everything else is looking amazing. I'm really happy with my pansy plants this year. I started them from seeds last year in fall and the weather has been really cold this year so it has really benefited pansy plants they are nice and huge full of blooms and i planted them all over my garden and this is a kiwi planter i have got a kiwi plant here from last year it has got some flower buds as well and it is growing nice and huge this year it is making its way up the obelisk and i'm really happy with its progress it is a hardy kiwi variety and it produces small kiwis like the size of a grape and it is really easy to grow in uk in cold climates and i'm really happy with my pansy plants as well so if you want to grow pansies 
this is the time now you need to sow your seeds sow them now and overwinter them in the greenhouse or cold frame and then you will be amazed by an early spring show here i have already started my benzy seeds they haven't germinated yet but this is the time now here's a little update on my star jasmine plant i planted it a few weeks ago and it is loaded with blooms this is an evergreen clamber and I have planted it by the back fence and I want it to cover the whole fence area. Hopefully in a couple of years it will cover the whole area. And this pot is looking really really beautiful by the greenhouse. This little corner is amazing. I have got an espalier apple tree under planted with alyssum which is starting to bloom. And this is looking amazing. Here is my blueberry plant which is loaded with blueberries and I can expect to harvest some blueberries late in July, August maybe and I'm really happy with how it has turned out. This little corner is looking absolutely amazing and I have got marigolds blooming already and petunia plants in my petunia tower and around my jasmine plant they are full of birds. Here are my edible garden peas in my raised bed and this year they are looking amazing. They are full of pods. They are huge and I think I will have a really good harvest of garden peas this year. I interplanted them with my strawberry plants and tomato plants with the idea that they can fix nitrogen in soil and they help fertilize other plants. But I think they are taking over the whole raised bed and I'm really amazed with how much pea pods they have got. Here is my blackberry plant in a big container with a blusk around it and it is loaded with birds. This blackberry is its second year of growth. It blooms and produces fruit on last year's growth. So you can see the last year canes are loaded with side shoots which have got so many flowers starting to open and soon we will be harvesting blackberries. And here is my loganberry bush which is a hybrid between blackberries and raspberries. It is already loaded with fruit which is not ripened yet but it's absolutely amazing and this also produces on last year's growth so last year's cane i tied them with obelisk and you can see they have got such shoes which have got so many fruit on them and this is the new cane from this year it won't produce anything this year and it keeps growing and it's already nice and tall so i need to tie it with obelisk and it will produce side shoots next year which will bear fruit next year here is another one you can see it is green it is the new cane from this year and this is the old cane from last year which is purple burgundy color and you can see how i have tied it with obelisk and this is the side shoot which has got flowers and fruit at the end here is my cherry stella tree which i planted this year and it has got the first single cherry so it had some flower birds which dropped and it has only produced one cherry at least we can get to taste it and it looks nice and ripe so we are going to pick it and taste it so beautiful and it tasted so delicious which we had more here comes the first sunflower of the season absolutely beautiful and there are many more to come my rose bushes have started to flower and you can see they are loaded with birds this is the most open one and it has so many petals looking absolutely gorgeous here's another one fully open and there are so many just starting to open and spiria has started to bloom it is looking absolutely gorgeous with these little diamond like pink flowers absolutely sparkly and here is my red rose bush it has got so many birds just about to open Foxlubs are also looking so vibrant in the front garden. Bees are all over them. And here is a little surprise behind the foxgloves. Here is my climbing rose compassion and it has got its first flower. This is huge, really beautiful colors. And I can't wait for this plant to climb up the pole and fence and it will be an amazing show next year. Here is my hosta plant with its first flower stalk. 
and here is another one it has got two flower stalks hostas are looking really big this year snapdragons are starting to flower and they are from the last year they survived the winter and they have grown nice and huge again the garden is looking really really beautiful i am really happy with how my front garden has evolved i'm so happy with all the plants i started from bare woods and seeds they are putting on absolutely beautiful show and there are many more to bloom soon so i will keep you updating about the progress in my garden in my front yard backyard in the greenhouse i have got lots and lots of flowering and vegetable plants so if you are interested please subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon so you don't miss out on any of my gardening videos thank you very much for watching today see you next time bye